hello everyone welcome in today's video today i just want us to look at inbreeding in chicken uh, if you are new to this channel please remember to subscribe to my channel below for more videos have you ever seen this scenario these chicks are of the same age but they have different growth rate now why in breeding number one resort to production of deformed chicks number two chicks produced have low immunity number three mortality rate in these chicks is so high number four uh, hatch very weak chicks number five these chicks have standard growth number six the production is normally lower number seven we can say that uh, in hens the point of lay is normally delayed what is inbreeding in chicken now it is production of chicken where the hen and the cock are related so we can say a brother and a sister parent and a child or we can even say grandparent to the grandson and granddaughter so how do you breed your chicken the best breeder or what we call the parent stock should be selected from the best hen and cock from a pure line of birds whereby they have not shared their ancestors then we can take those one to be the parent stock now what do we get from the parent stock so the parent stock produce first generation which we normally call f1 whereby we do not have any breeding there between because the hen and the cock are not related anyway so we can say that uh, the parent stock produced first generation the f1 chicks which has a maximum production this chick also have high immunity the f1 chicks should not be used as breeders or parent stock but should be used for eggs and meat production they normally produce very high so what normally people do is that they normally select the best cocks from this f1 and the best hen hens from this f1 and then they call them the parent stock that shouldn't be the case because now here we now get the sister and the brother so what they will end up giving us is what we call F2, which is inbreeding. So F2 is due to the inbreeding in F1. And that means that this second generation, which is F2, is weaker than the F1, will be weaker than the F1. The immunity will be lower than for F1. The production will be low than F1. They will take some time, more longer time, for them to start to start laying eggs. So the, the, the point of lay is prolonged also. So what are we supposed to do? Now, to stop inbreeding, Farmers must be very careful to have what we call parent stock. We need the parent stock or the breeders. Your breeders must not be related in any way. Your hens and your cocks must not be related in any way. So it is advisable to introduce a new breeding cock or hen from a different genetic line and then you can call those as 
parent stock. So uh, what is advisable is that when you receive chicks from any seller, take those chicks at uh, the age of one month to two months, then uh, you'll be able to identify the chicks, the, 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 the cocks and the hens. Separate them. And from there, that's where we normally advise, the cocks should be for meat. And not all the hen should be for eggs or for the breeders. You will now select the best hens from your stock. You select the best hen and then you search for cocks outside your farm. And also outside the person who gave you the chicks. So we have said that uh, if this inbreeding continues, what you will be now having will be very weak chicks, chicks with very low immunity. If a disease comes, then all your chicks are gone because they have very low immunity, not as F1 chicks. They have standard growth. You feed them a lot before even they mature. And they will even take long time to mature. They will take long time to get to that uh, point of lay. So you stay a longer time expecting to see the eggs and so forth. You lose a lot of birds. So hope uh, I have communicated to, to many. Please remember to subscribe to my channel below. You can also like and uh, share with friends. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.